Today marks 10 years since the demise of President John Evans Atta Mills. He is the first sitting Ghanaian head of state to die in office and was subsequently laid to rest at the Asumjui Park. John Evans Fifi Atta Mills was a Ghanaian politician and legal scholar who served as president of Ghana from January 2009 to July 2012. Celebrating his anniversary, President Akufuadu described the former president as a visionary leader. The celebration also saw the commissioning of the rehabilitated Asumdre Park, the burial place of the former president. However, prior to the celebration, there have been divisions where families of the late president have alleged that his body has been tampered with. Speaking during the commissioning, President Akufuadu says the public should reject such claims, indicating that the legacy of the former president will not be forgotten. There have also been unfortunate accusations leveled by some against government about the supposed desecration of the tomb of the late president in the process of rehabilitating the park. Nothing could be further from the truth. And it is good to note that these false malicious statements have been firmly dispelled and debunked by the Coastal De Development Authority through the agency of its chief executive officer, Mr. Jerry Ahmed Shahi, in a public statement under his hand. My wife, Rebecca, and our children join me and the government in reiterating our sincere condolences to his wife, Nadu, his son, his entire family, to the National Democratic Congress, and indeed to the people of Ghana for their great loss. The man from Ikumfi Otuam will not be forgotten. Applauding the president for his contribution to building the Asundri Park, the chief executive officer of the Atta Mills Institute, Koku Anidohu, indicated that he will ensure the regular maintenance of the park. The road has been dark and lonely. The forest has been thick and unfriendly. The nights have been long and winding. The billows have been tempestuous and unfriendly. The tears have flowed from streams and ending. Is this life? Yes, it is life. It is life. It is life. Through it all, I have found a friend in Jesus, and he tells me that one fine day when this life is over, and when I serve him and my country well, when I impact my generation to the glory of God, he will give me a crown of glory and give me a hope. President John Evans Atamels, I pledge to you on this same ground in 2020 that by the kind grace of God, I will not allow your final resting place to continue to remain a place of shame before the multitude and the hosts above. I promised to ensure that your memory is properly honored. Shortly after the commissioning of the rehabilitated Asumdre Park by the government, the National Democratic Congress also held a ceremony to honor the legacy of the former president at the same venue. Former President John Dramani Mahama also described the current controversy sounding the death of John Atta Mills as needless. According to him, the controversies dishonor the remarkable legacy of the late president. It is therefore a matter of deep regret to me and many others, that what should have been a solemn 10th anniversary where we celebrate this giant of a Ghanaian in history to reflect over his life and times and draw useful lessons from them, it was instead heralded by needless and orchestrated controversy about his final resting place. Any effort to give a facelift to this park called Asumdre Park, where his mortar remains lie and where we are holding this event should be welcome, as it is no more than Professor Mills would have deserved for his outstanding contributions to our nation's development and its forward march. It is, however, untenable, unconscionable, and uncanny for this to be done without recourse to his family, while involving individuals whose actions and conduct have only served to drag the dignified professor's name and memory into needless and unnecessary public controversy.
The NDC, on the other hand, urged Ghanaians to emulate the positive qualities of President John Atamils. President John Evans Atamils personified the following attributes. Service of integrity, honesty, selflessness, and leadership through service, what is now properly called servant leadership. I believe firmly that if every citizen of this country, especially our leaders, internalize these attributes and consciously practice them every day, our beloved country would have entrenched for itself these sterling qualities by which alone great nations are built. However, what do Ghanaians make of the commemoration of the late president's 10th anniversary since his passing? It's better. President Mills doesn't deserve this. Today, we should have had one event and everybody will have applauded President Akufuado for the renovation, even though he didn't use his personal money, it's a taxpayer's money. But, you know, giving the authorization and bringing everybody together. Imagine how his value will have gone up and how he will have been held in high esteem. And that is why I go back to my fundamental question. What will Professor Mills have done? As a nation, we need to move on. We are happy that this has happened. We will forever remember his uh, memory. And for me, the memory that is important to me, it's not just the peace portion, even though peace is good, it's the anti-corruption portion. He believed in anti-corruption. He believed that the nation must be built with love and with dedication and with the resources of the people. Um, one of the funny ones was when um, he was in parliament and he wanted to mention the economy and he said the economy, it was very funny. Then also when we had um, the issue with the, the foreign affairs issue that he said as a country, we should learn to be who fears them, you know, let's concentrate on us. Those are the few things that um, I, I, I really remember about him.